I do not trust that this radiator hose is gonna hold. So we're gonna order a new one. So I ordered two of them. This one might fit. Uh, as I measured, it was about maybe an inch or two inches short. Hard to measure with a tape measure. So I ordered this extra long one that I would have to snake around, but uh, hopefully this is the right size. I think I measured inch and a half uh, for both of them. Uh, both the inlet to the water pump and the outlet to the radiator. So I'm gonna see if this works. For the rear quick jacks, one thing that I have read and have been told several times is that this diagram here of the bolt going from the inside out is wrong and the correct way is the bolt going from the outside in. Now for the front, I don't know if that's still the case that this bolt should go from the outside in Maybe it doesn't matter, but it would look better for consistency. But let's do it. In addition, these quick jacks seem to be no difference between front or back, because all four of these seem to be identical. Well, except for left, right. Yeah. There's no difference on the shape there. No, all right. I know I need to paint these. Uh, I think it's too cold to paint. My temperature says 54 degrees in my garage and it is below freezing outside. And I know the body's gonna come on and off several times. So I'm gonna hold off on painting these till next time. I'm supposed to get to that bolt right there. But okay.
Oh. Maybe like that. Yeah, I'll try some painter's tape on there, you know. See if that works. Forgot to put the washer in. So now I get to do it all over again. Jeez! There we go. I'm gonna leave them loose until I get the front ones. But these are a pain in the ass. We start at the front here. I've got the body pretty well centered on these pre-drilled holes here where these quick jack mounts go through. You can see on the other side, it's as centered as pretty much I can get it. Um, and then the body is actually resting, I think, right here. And I don't think it's supposed to do that. There is this bracket inside here and the body is bolted to that bracket here. And this bracket can be adjusted uh, up, down. I don't know about uh, left and right. Looking at the side of the car here, the distance, the gap here, is quite a bit more than the gap here. Not by much, not by much. There is, there is a little bit of a difference here. Obviously, these are gonna be undersized in order to get the pipes in there. Uh, and I'm, I'm told that you're really gonna have to cut this forward in order to get it, to get the pipes in there. This is where the cutting is. Um, not a lot of room here I'm seeing for these uh, louvers. Just about a finger width here. I don't know if that's supposed to come out or in, but uh, that's a little concerning. Look at the side here, quite a bit of gap right here. I'm sure that's normal, but um, this whole panel can go in or out. Um, looking at this hinge, um, this one, now that the body is bolted, this one did not clear. It was actually hitting right there, but it's clear. It's clear now, but this can certainly be trimmed check the other side in a minute. Uh, for the latch here, looks like it is almost flush. And I'm not sure where that's supposed to be. This body comes right to the seat here, just a finger width in there. Looking at this rear wheel, 
big gap right there. Don't know if that's normal. But that, that gap is about the same all the way around. Uh, that is a lot of space. I'm hoping that when it's on its wheels, this is going to be shorter. We go to the back. Um, the body here is actually mounted resting on these bolts here. And when I tighten these down, you could see the body move forward just a bit. gap here uh, it's about the same as the other side I guess but that is a big distance hopefully uh, when it sits on its suspension that is going to be taken up all right let's compare left and right so this is the same the body is really it's touching right there and I don't know if I'm supposed to take a little gap out of here so the body rests but this distance is about the same right here top of the seat and these seats are bolted in. Got a big gap here. This door hinge looks like it's about the same. A little bit of distance, a little bit of distance, but it does clear. Open and close once again. You know, there's a lot of flex there, of course, and I think I read ahead in the directions that actually mounts right here. I can feel where the temporary screw was in there, I think, for shipping. Nothing, nothing impeding here. Uh, I don't know, that foot box I guess is right there. Yeah, maybe I'll test fit those louvers. Uh, looking at the wheel, seems like that gap is a little less. No, it's about the same, that's about the same I suppose, yeah. Big gap here, hopefully that shrinks down. They say these coilovers are adjustable, but still gotta look into that. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, see what the body's actually resting on. And it does seem to me that the body, well, I guess not. See, I can push down. So, well, it's resting on that, on that uh, seal. That foam seal that I put on there, that's for sure. Yeah, so the butt so the weight of the body is right there. Certainly the weight of the body is right here, no doubt. That is for sure. As far as underneath here, if I can get my finger up underneath here, the firewall. There is a gap. I mean I do feel a gap. And I can push on that firewall so it's not. It's not pinched, that's for sure. Let's check the other side. Yeah. Well, boy, it is, uh, it is about a millimeter or two and that's it. But it is not pinched at all, so I really like that. Looking at the cockpit here, let's see. See, that's not pinched at all. And I can push on this and it's moving, so it's not, it's not pinched here at all. It's not resting on this. I don't know how much space is supposed to be there. No, heck, I got my straps in there. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Great. Let's see if I can't pull those through. But the body is not resting on that aluminum, and that's where that bulb seal is supposed to go. But boy, there sure isn't a lot of room, though, I don't think. Uh, I meant to take the dash off, but I forgot because I was so excited to get the body on. Um, looking at my corners here, if you can see that, I should have left that little edge right there on the dash. It would have looked a little cleaner. But uh, this dash does not, the body does not touch the dash. There is probably, I don't know. To two or three millimeter all the way around here it might be touching it might be touching on that side let's see if I put my hand yeah that feels 
pretty good. I could trim some off, but the dash isn't touching it. But it does feel like the dash might be touching right there. And if I'm to get this dash off with the body on, well, this, this bolt is holding the dash in right here. And, God, I don't know how I would get, well, I guess I could get, I could get a wrench right in here. So I could get that off. So that's gonna be my first exercise, is taking this dash out with the body on. Just what I wanted. And you can see my, my bolts here are uh, really good distance down. I like that. Really good distance, that's fine. That one looks great over there. Already got my dirty fingerprints all over the dash. Great. Well, I sure would like to drive this thing around. Let's check out this trunk. And the spacing here. You can see my seat belts. You can see my seat belts right up there. Uh, it looks like I should be able to pull those through. Um, you can see. So you can see there's plenty of gap from that aluminum to the body. And then you can definitely see that the body is resting on that foam, that rear trunk hoop. Resting on there just fine. Yeah, plenty of gap, plenty of gap here for the bulb seal. It gets a little close there, but it looks like it's all clear. That's for sure. Looking at the spacing here on the rear trunk. Boy, they Factory 5 does a really good job. And those gaps are just right for the bulb seal. Let's look up over. It's a little close there, but it's not touching. Man, it all looks really good. Yeah, be happy with that. I don't know how well these holes line up for the uh, for the roll bar. If we can look, well, that looks that looks straight down there, I guess. Yeah. Back. Maybe I'll try and put the just put these hoops on. There it is. 